Hello guys, Bingo Cat here. So recently, quite recently, I made a video comparing Windows Vista to Windows 7, and a lot of people seem to like that video, and seem to like me, you know, just comparing the operating systems, see how different they are. And so I decided to do the pretty much the same thing, but today I'm going to be comparing Windows XP Professional versus Windows 10 Pro. Now, first of all, both these products are from completely different eras of computing. Windows XP came out in October of 2001, where Windows 10, on the other hand, came out in July of 2015. Computers were really different back then. Computers from around 2001, it was around just the time computers were turning from a beige color to manufacturer started making them in black colors instead. Um, everyone still used CRT monitors or pretty much all CD monitors were still really expensive and rarely seen outside of use of laptops until around 2004 and computers were overall just a lot less powerful, a lot still had floppy disk, flash drives barely existed, the iPod just had got introduced that year, everyone was still using CD players or cassettes, uh, there was no smartphones basically, there was hardly any texting, there was no cameras on any of the phone, basically when Windows XP was released it was in a very different era of computing. Now move on over to Windows 10 on the other hand. Smartphones have existed for years, no one uses CD players anymore, no one uses iPods anymore, now everyone pretty much just streams music or has it on their phone. Um, computer is a lot more powerful, can run many more 3D games than Windows XP good. Everyone has flat screen monitors or convertible laptops or tablets or all that kind of stuff. So Windows 10 is a about 14 year old newer product guys. So it requires a lot more powerful hardware than Windows XP did and it just looks more modern and I would say can do more stuff that Windows XP can. So let's go ahead and look at the specs of each machine. Now, machine on the left versus machine on the uh, right. So here's why I gave the machine. Windows XP has a recommended system requirement of one processor 300 megahertz or higher, RAM 120 megabytes or higher, and f disk space above 1.5 gigabyte. Now Windows XP can still basically run on all hardware made before 2014. But, so when I was doing the recommended requirements for Windows XP, Windows XP really stuttered and lagged, so I just bumped them up just a little bit to 512 megabyte memory, and also gave it 40 gigabytes hard disk space in case I actually really wanted to install something, because I'll be honest, 1.5 gigabyte free hard disk space, that's not enough to barely do anything on Windows XP. So Windows 10 requires a 1 gigahertz or faster processor, and I believe Microsoft recommends dual core. And then RAM, it, they require 2 gigabytes of RAM, and I gave it 4 here. Windows 10 runs just fine with 4. Hard disk space, they recommend 16 gigabyte for 32, or 20 gigabyte for 64, and I got 64 right here. And then displays for both operating systems are the exact same. 800 by 600 in resolution. I have a nice HD monitor here so I can obviously handle both operating systems at once pretty well. So moving on, so the interface of each operating system. Windows XP uses something called Windows Luna. Windows Luna basically is a theming. Um, I'd say it was a lot more skew-morphic than Windows 98, Windows 95, that just means they try to emulate real-world design more, and that's a lot more 3D. Windows 10, on the other hand, they went with a more modern look, everything got flattened out, basically. No more of this 3D-looking taskbar, now we have a nice, flat, minimal minimalistic taskbar. Now, the default background on each operating system is different. This one on the left is probably one of the most famous pictures ever taken, and Microsoft paid something like millions of dollars to have this as a background in Windows XP. The background is called Bliss, and was taken on a field in California in 1997 by photographer. Now, if you go and look at a picture of this field today, it looks nothing like this. Windows 10's background, on the other hand, is just basically the Windows logo. So, moving on, let's go look at the start menu of each operating system. Now, Windows XP was the first operating system to redesign the start menu ever since Windows 95 introduced it. And introduced this sort of a dual column thing where you got your recent items and pinned items on the left. And then you got shortcuts to your documents, your pictures, control panel, etc. on the right. And Windows 10 on the other hand, after the start screen disaster that Windows 8 had, introduced the start menu again 
and if you guys never heard, they're actually going to change this in the next Windows 10 release. But basically, they, they may be really similar to XP's and Windows 7's for that matter, except they have this entire customizable area on the right where you pin your stuff, then you got your most used items on the left. Now, your shortcuts to your documents and whatnot sort of disappeared, but alas not, there is actually shortcuts still there if you right click the start menu, and these are mainly just uh, administrative shortcuts like task manager, um, stuff like that, computer management, but yeah, overall, I think I actually like the Windows 10 start menu better because it's a lot more customizable than the Windows XP one. You can even change the width of your start menu, not really something you can do in XP. Windows 10 was the first operating system to introduce the Microsoft Edge browser. And so here it is. And Windows XP was the first operating system to introduce Internet Explorer 6. Now, that was released in 2001, so obviously you can't really do anything with that web browser anymore. Um, but However, it is upgradable to IE8, which was released in 2009, and I believe the last up security update for this browser was released in 2014, and let's go to make that my default. Um, both operating systems, once again, they look like they came out of different ages. I like Edge a lot, so much better than this, so much faster, displays pages so much better. For example, let's just go to google.com, alright? Go. Alright. One. Two. Three. took three seconds to load Google. It's for the most part the uh, modern Google homepage. Now let's go over here. One, two, three. Yeah, it took about three seconds, except this is the actual modern Google homepage. The older browsers displayed this sort of weirdish Google homepage. To me, it's now weird, even though this used to be the default in all browsers, where you can click images, maps, whatever. Here they condense it into a menu that I believe Never mind, I was going to say this is responsive, but it's not. So, web browsing speeds are basically pretty similar, but Edge is probably faster if you put in a real world test. Now, let's go ahead and look at the settings for each operating system real quickly. Um, so, Windows 10 actually has two places you can go for settings there's the settings app, and then there's the legacy control panel. Now, they're most slowly moving all settings from the control panel over to the settings thing, but in my opinion, they shouldn't have split up all the settings into two different settings programs. It's really confusing. Windows XP, on the other hand, even though it looks a lot dumpier, it just has one settings place. One thing I like about Windows Vista and newer that Windows XP and older didn't really have is Windows XP had a really bad search, a really bad search uh, thing. Windows 10, on the other hand, it's just Cortana, or even if you don't use Cortana, it searches fantastic, like if you just search for documents, voila, your documents is right here. Windows XP, on the other hand, if you want to search for the documents folder, you just do this. Alright, what size is it? Blah, blah, blah. Search. Alright, it's not that slow, but if it's searching your entire computer and you have an older hard drive, it's going to take a while. And it pops up in this window over here. So yeah, moving on. Built-in programs with each operating system. Now, it's worth mentioning that Notepad and XP, and I've mentioned this in my other videos too, and Notepad and Windows 10 are pretty much the exact same program. Now, they had 14 years to develop this thing. It'd be more like, I don't know, Notepad++, and they do literally the exact same things. Both Notepads do the exact same things. And this had 14 years to develop, but it's the exact same program. Well, I guess you know what they say. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Now, Windows XP comes with games like Pinball. Windows 10 also comes with games like Candy Crush Soda Saga. Windows XP was not designed for any touch support whatsoever. However, starting with Windows 8 and above, they tried to make the main uh, the main way you interact with your device through touch, which is pretty useless to me if you're on a desktop with no touch screen, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. But if you do use a touch screen, this is a nice thing to consider. Now, Windows 10 also has an app store. Windows XP is none of such thing. Now, older operating systems like XP is pretty much famous for you have to go into the internet and download an app, and that doesn't always go so well. You can get viruses from doing that. What I do like about the Windows Store is that there's pretty much a guarantee that you won't get any viruses or malware if you download an app, like if you wanted to download Facebook, for example. 
However, I'm not also not a huge fan of the Windows Store because generally apps in the Windows Store are really feature limited compared to their desktop counterpart. So yeah, final thoughts is that Windows XP was a really great operating system first time, like seriously. This was almost 15 years ago guys. Seriously, technology and the earth has changed so much since then. But yeah, Windows XP support was discontinued on April 8th, 2014. Windows XP isn't receiving any updates anymore. So don't use XP unless you have some old legacy program or game you want to run, like I do sometimes. And Windows 10, on the other hand, is going to be usable until at least 2025. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's comparison video. So like if you like this video, and if this is the first time you're watching this channel, please subscribe. And yeah, bye guys.